How y'all doing? Uh, I was just thinking catch it, man, you know. Uh, make sure I made a play. Um, it was a great call. We were in the perfect call uh, for that for that play uh, to go against them. So, I mean, it was, it was exciting. Travis, can you take us through kind of the, the game plan going in? I mean, very, pretty obvious you guys didn't want to rush and put too much pressure on you. Uh, the main thing was stop the run, uh, then get after the quarterback. And our third thing was to create takeaways. And I think we did all three of those. Um, especially in the second half, uh, just limit the mistakes and, and play, get back to our ball. What was the message, I guess, when they were like 14 or 30 and that kind of settling in and, you know, walking into your QB students and stopping them? Uh, just don't flinch. You know, uh, knew it was going to be a fight. Just to, you know, throw them back. You know, don't, 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 it, don't take too many blows, but if you do, you know we're throwing them back. You knew it was going to be a fight. We knew what kind of game it was going to be. So it was kind of a just don't flinch mindset. Travis, BC gives you so many different looks coming out of the backfield. How hard is it for the defense to be able to? How much of a challenge is it to communicate and to kind of maintain that gap integrity? Just how much? I mean, that was another one of our main emphasis this week was make sure we communicate. Uh, we knew they were going to give us a lot of movement, pre-snap, post-snap. Mo uh, a lot of motion, so uh, just the main thing was get get our cleat set, communicate, and, and play ball. Travis, how important is it, you know, to, to face this kind of adversity, see how the team responds, you know, before you get to execute? I mean, it was great. I mean, to know that, you know, we're ready for the fight. Um, being on break mindset, you know, it might it might be an up and down game, but I can, I know I can count on them, the guys in those in that locker room. Uh, definitely. I mean, it was definitely a, a, a big momentum shift in the game. Um, but even after that, the, the game's not over. We got to keep it going. Uh, I mean, you see, they made it a little bit close at the end, but we we, we kept uh, we kept throwing punches. Uh, yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's, it just means we got to cover longer as as DBs. Uh, and then him being a good, such a good runner, you gotta also have your eyes on in the, in the backfield for the quarterback. So, I mean, he created a lot of confusion, a lot of problems. But uh, like I said, the game plan, we we went out and executed and came out with a win. Some deer just how important you think that was for just the momentum to, to have a big play. I mean, it was great, but I mean, I can't do nothing but thank God, man. It was right, right spot, right time. Uh, and then just to give us give us the opportunity to good, come out with a win, I mean, it, it, it's just a blessing. You touched on it a little bit ago of being able to respond to adversity, but what, just what was the mindset after the defense kind of had his paper cut it down on that first drive, allowed his first touchdown of the season? What was the mindset and how do you think the group responded to that? Don't flinch, you know. Um, I think we responded <laughs> great to it, you know, to come out here with a dub. Um, yeah, man. Say it again. I seen it. Yeah, I was watching that all the time. Yeah. I mean, that's another moment, momentum shift in the game. Um, big play we needed. You know, that's one of our best playmakers. I think one, if not the best playmaker in college football. So, you know, just get a ball to three. I mean, he did did what he do do what he's gonna do. Best in the nation. Uh, as the NWO, every, every day from from the one to the, the last guy, like that's the best receiving core in the nation. And I wholeheartedly believe that. And it's great to go against them every day in practice because I feel like I won't see anybody else better than anybody in that building, in this building. Thank y'all.